Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we are going to be looking more at that regression equation, uh, but specifically we're going to use it, see what the parts are, and then calculate a residual. So remember the notation we use is a little different than it was when you were in algebra. You had y equals mx plus b, but we use y hat equals p sub 0 plus b sub 1x. So the b sub 1 is the slope, that's what's multiplied by x, and then b sub 0 is going to be the y-intercept, which y'all are maybe used to as being denoted with a b. Now, one of the biggest things that's going to be a challenge for you is that r, y in statistics is the observed value, but this equation uses y hat because that's the predicted value of y. So that's important, that notation component, y hat equals b sub 0 plus b sub 1x. So here our b sub 0 or our y-intercept is going to be the 577, and then our slope is going to be negative 3. Now, having a slope that's negative 3 doesn't discuss the strength of the relationship. So we looked at before that correlation coefficient, that the number actually affects the strength. Here, though, it just is telling you how much change you expect to see in y for a one unit increase in x. So when it's negative, it just means that the relationship between x and y is a negative association, and we saw that already with the scatter plot. One thing that's hard for students sometimes is they always want to put a number in for y hat and x, but when we write the regression equation, we use y hat and x because when you use this equation, you're going to substitute x for some number, and y hat will then be calculated from it. So let's say we're predicting for my age. I'm 40 years old, and so the x value would be 40 because remember that x is the explanatory and that was age. So I would plug 40 into that equation, and then I would calculate a predicted distance that I could read a highway sign. So when you plug this in and you get y hat equals 457, that's what the equation is predicting that 40-year-olds can read in terms of distance for a highway sign. Now let's say though that I actually did this test and when I did it, I was able to see 437 feet. So my distance to read a highway sign that I actually did is y because that's what we observed. y hat remembers the value coming from the data or excuse me, from the uh, equation, the prediction equation. So if we were to calculate a residual for me for this point, we would have y minus y hat. So 437 minus 457. And remember that residual is giving us the distance the observed value is y from the line, which is what y hat is representing. So because my residual came out to be negative 20, that means that I was below that regression line. And that means that my point, that blue dot, is below the line that was created with that regression equation. So hopefully that helps you to understand things a little bit better. See you in future videos.